excited for this one, and you're cracking a wry smile. I know you are, too. This is a kickboxer of the highest order, and he's made no bones about it. He believes that if this fight is contested on the feet, he's going to wax this guy up. He's going to get the job done. He has 100% confidence that if they're standing, he's better. And why would he not? He is one of those kickboxers that is on the level of Edesanya, Pareda, and Alistair Overeem. He sits amongst the best to come from that sport and apply it to mixed martial arts. He's got a well-rounded skill set outside of kickboxing, but the kickboxing is what makes him yeah, it's interesting to hear Alex Pereira, the middleweight champion, praise him recently, sort of unsolicited. So needless to say, the eyes of the sport are fixed upon this kickboxer here tonight. just that. If there has been any knock on Cannoneer, it's that his game just hasn't been quite elite enough when the challenges have been the guys at the top of the division. But Cannoneer is world class. He has realized success in three different UFC divisions. And even though he's coming up on four, don't let the age fool you. That's just a number. This guy looks a whole lot better with his shirt off than me. anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nasruddin Imava. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jared the Killer Gorilla. Cannoneer. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight? one. Ready. All right, so here is the French middleweight contender, Nasir Dimamba, getting back to it as this round gets underway. He's had a lot of big moments in the UFC thus far, and he believes that there are going to be opportunities for him to take advantage of what he perceives to be a grappling edge in this matchup tonight. All right, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannon here. And a jab working here pretty early, you see. And a power jab. I mean... Everything about Jared Cannonier is powerful. You look at him, you can tell that the guy is just insanely powerful. But it's this jab that is his trigger to do everything going forward in every fight that he's in. Oh! Lands a big right hand early. Right there! Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. It's right there, the under -under. Look at him being this shot. Right up through the opponent's third Oh, he's separates from the clinch. Cannoneer gets caught by that straight hand. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Throws the tee. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. <laughs> Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of 
stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for strikes to land. Trying to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. This one's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away to get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Oh, nice takedown defense. He crossed the midpoint in round one. Pretty good job blocking that attempt. Oh, look at that leg kick. He does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Let's go, boy. Suffocating work from the top here by Cannoneer. Again, not much defense there. Another bounce strike gets through. Cannoneer's back in half. Very comfortable here. Big ground pop. I was he posters up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And he is back up to his feet. Some damage being doled out and now some I'll stop this. You get inside that. Not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. Oh, he's staying busy here, connected with a barrage of punches. Under 90 seconds to go round one. Punches. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing like a good job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed in the pit. Defense up. Under a minute now to go around one. Oh, oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. If, uh, it rears space. its ugly head as this fight continues. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, everything's been working off the jab for Jared Kennedy here tonight, and he lands it again there. Just a presence about himself is what I think about when I think about Jared Kennedy. He's a guy that has fought in multiple weight classes, and he gets that jab to the target so quickly. You gotta imagine a man that's at one point weighs 240 pounds landing the jab in middleweight. Isn't just a jab, it's something that can put your lights up. Kennedy gets hit by that leg kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Rotating 
as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. She's got to start to protect it. Break that full guard open. Stay busy. Get the half guard. Let's go. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Cannoneer going to work from guard. Here. Very combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. All oh, the ground and pound is there. Slice that lead through. Get the half. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Cannoneer's eye now Stop. closing up. Get up oh. to your feet. Hey. 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 Right. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Three, two, three. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. We know where we got to go now. Here. Stuff to nice take down, no problem. Nice move. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for a second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. On point with that jab today. Oh, no, the oh, right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Beautiful combination. Yeah, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Mazov. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but okay. not before no he was cut relax. on his nose from the Take strikes that in that relax. round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that pain. cut and prevent it from becoming down. an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never Ready looked fight. this good. And Ready. that, is, that yeah. is partly because his opponent is not defending. Nice defense there, huge block. 
strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to visually see someone react to the damage, react to the pain, it tells you how hard or how much effect the strikes have taken on them. Right now, we are seeing him limping because of the kicks on Side control now, DC, you know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can't just throw punches to keep the referee off. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. He throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Johnny, he just gives up. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Posture up and drop the bombs. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that graphic exchange. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is his name. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he's getting out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. What a great way of mixing up his attack. Didn't stay the course. He mixed it up with his attack. This is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Final 30 seconds okay, of this third up. round. Push him off! Push him off! Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this, and the work is showing, 
He needs to try to find a way to stop him. Stop. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the he blood that's right. coming from the cut. That eye is pretty swollen right now. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. And how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. Ready if fight. he takes many more of these Ready. shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to this one. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. Jab now. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Combination of kicks there by Cannonier. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right okay. hand. Gets in close and gets a single collar tie. Locked in tight. <laughs> nice swap kick there. <laughs> nice defense to block that punch. Inside the octagon, where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nasruddin Imava. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party? Or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers. How soon can I get a 